Welcome back to another Shinobi Ninja Token update. Today is April 4th. It is 7.40 p.m. on the West Coast. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. So please do not make investments based on what I say in these videos. All right, so Shinobi Ninja Token, all of their information is in my description below if you wanna check that out. It is currently sitting at 0 0.01334 USD. That is a market cap of $13.3 million. So first we're gonna get into some technical analysis and then we're gonna look at the road ahead for Shinobi Ninja Token. All right, so if we blow this up a little bit, this is the four hour chart. So I already did a rundown of all of the historical price action and analyzed that um, from start to present day. So we're gonna look more locally, all right? Now, I haven't done a video for a week. So let's see, let's go back to where the last video had our price action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Probably around here, because this day is still, let's see, that's April 5th. Yeah, so probably more so around here, because this candle just started. So if you look at it on the hourly, uh, this is one of the best calls I've ever made. So I drew this triple bottom a week ago. All right, you have bottom at 0 .007 or high sixes. 0 0.007 and it bottomed three times. Now I'm going to show you why I thought it would run up exactly how it did. All right. So on the four hour, you're going to see something. All right. You're going to see a lot of things that add up to confluence on why I was bullish um, around here. All right. So you have this sell off. And look at the RSI is going from overbought. So anything over 70 on the RSI relative strength index is overbought. So that means there's likely a pullback. And you want to look at the higher time frames. Those give you a higher probability of your trade thesis uh, being proven correct. All right. So you had overbought uh, during all time high price sold off and the RSI went below neutral, which is 50. OK, so anything below 50. Um, you could argue that it's oversold, but really like oversold is down here at 30. All right. So price action came down. You see the RSI going down with it. Now it kind of peaked up right here. It did like a bit of a false breakout of this channel. Um, but right around here, you see it break neutrality at 50 with the nice push. And dude, the crazy thing about it is I put an arrow for the volume as well. And look at, you see that spike up in volume? Um, yeah, that was pretty spooky. So you had this increase in volume. You also had it going above neutrality on the RSI. It came back as support. Now this is gonna blow your mind for a second, all right? At least it did mine when I learned it, okay? So you can have technical patterns on the RSI indicator. It's not just on the candles. And I'm going to prove it to you right here. So you had on the four hour, the RSI go above and then look, so it breaks resistance <laughs> and then it uh, retests as support and it does a double bottom and it continues up. So it breaks through this resistance at neutrality, goes up, comes back down, does a double bottom <laughs> and continues up. <laughs> and the price action was coinciding with that. All right. So if you were following the RSI and you saw it cross above on volume, and then you see the price action going up as well. That all adds up to confluence of like, okay, I think it's ready to um, go towards the next level. And the next level was um, 0 0.019, all right? So that is gonna be a key level going forward. I'd like to see it break that next. Let's see what the opacity is at, opacity, I don't know how to say it. But you have, uh, yeah, so RSI, let's see if the MACD was telling us anything. Honestly, I, I did that call based off of uh, a candlestick formation alone. I didn't even look at the RSI. So we're just looking at it retrospectively, um, but things are lining up quite well. <laughs> so this is the four hour and now this is the daily. So because we only have, what is that? Um, February 23rd, we have like a little over two months of price action. There's not enough for the moving average convergence divergence. 
because this is using the 12 day and the 26 day. All right, so for the daily, not really enough to work with there. On the four hour, this looks beautiful, all right? So after the sell off, look, you have the cross. Short term moving average crossing below the long term moving average, that makes sense. And then it starts to lose negative momentum, even flipping green right there through this channel. And then you see it cross, where does it cross? It actually crossed way over here, um, got closer together right here. Um, during this section, but really it broke through this middle ground on March 31st, okay? And then you see the moving average go way above with the solidly green bars for the MACD. So everything is lining up. And then lastly, let's bring up the volume profile visible range. It's so funny, I see these tweets making fun of people doing technical analysis on meme coins. And this isn't really a meme coin because they're actually bringing utility, but you know, it's on Solana. So it's kind of in the same category, but uh, <laughs> you could definitely do TA on meme coins. You can do TA on anything, on any chart that has a valuation uh, attached to it. Anything that is linked to supply and demand based on the free market, you can do technical analysis on it. So you can do it on the price of eggs, the price of milk, the price of gasoline, um, the price of gold, obviously stocks, crypto, it works. If you think it doesn't work, you probably just don't have a lot of experience with it. So this is a daily. Now I pulled this up because you see a lot of thickness between 0 0.0, between 0 0.018 uh, and 0 0.012. All right. Now I put this level of support at a 0 0.009 because again, you can see a triple bottom, this time more on a smaller time frame. All right, so it bottomed out three times, which by the way, triple bottoms are really rare. One, two, three. Um, the local neckline would be at this level right here. Let me draw it straighter. I put it right there conservatively. Look, lines up with that. <laughs> so yeah, you had a nice push up. Um, which is pretty gnarly because I tweeted out four hours ago, holding support nicely at this level at 0 0.012. And one hour later, it shot up to 0 0.015. All right, so right now you're just seeing people take profit and that is just part of the game. Some people take profit at different areas at different levels because everybody has a different financial goal. All right, so you have levels 0 0.009 um, let's move this up to 0 0.01. It's a round number, easy on the eyes. It makes more sense. So 0 0.01, and then the next level of next level above that is 0 0.01375. All right, guys. And then the road ahead. Check this out. This is from Poiser. Thank you so much, Poiser. Give them a follow at p o i z e r r ninja. Within one week, we will see. V2 AI sniper bot Friday to Saturday, coin market cap, white paper, TikTok campaign, big surprise from the dev, exchanges, YouTube videos, <laughs> huge influencer onboarding, uh, and probably way bigger YouTubers than myself, by the way, huge influencer onboarding, burn functions to the bot, staking, and then maybe that last one, we'll see. But uh, a lot of big things coming up for Ninja. Love you guys so much. See you for the next update. Peace.